Today on our 2014 Dodge Journey, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 2, part number C12134. Now here's what it's going to look like once it's installed. You can see it's got a nice black powder coated finish, our flat style safety chain loops. It's going to be big enough for most of your safety chain hooks to be able to fit into. It's going to be a Class 2, inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. It's going to tuck up nicely against the bottom side of our spare tire and still going to let, leave you access to be able to drop it. You're just going to have to drop it and kind of slide it forward. It'll come down out of there. This hitch is going to be a bolt-on design utilizing holes that are already in the frame with some, with some blocks and some carriage bolts. This hitch is going to be ready for 350 pounds of tongue weight, which is our downward force, and 3,500 pounds of gross trailer weight, which is the amount of our loaded trailer. Now you want to check with your owner's manual or your manufacturer to make sure your vehicle is able to tow that amount of weight and always use the, le the least of the two amounts. Current recommends if you're going to be using this for a non-trailered load such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier that you use a stabilization strap. Now I'm going to give you some measurements that are going to aid you in selecting your accessories such as a ball mount, a cargo carrier, or a bike rack. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, it's going to be about two inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube, it's going to be about 14 inches. And the first step in installing our hitch, we're going to have to drop down our exhaust. So we're going to go ahead and lube up our hangers here, make it slide off a little easier. It's going to be one on either side here, and one up on the front. And it'll be the same on the other side. Now before we take our exhaust down, we're going to go ahead and put up a safety strap just to stop it from falling down. And just stretch it across. That's going to help keep it up in place while we remove our rubber grommets. We're just going to want to pry those off. Just push those out of the way. Now we can move back to the two rear ones. Just slide those off. Once we have all four of them loosened up, we're going to lower down our safety strap and give us a little room to work. Now on the passenger side, there's going to be this ground strap that just pushes over this rod here. So we just pop it out of the way and we'll let that dangle. Now we can see where we're going to mount our hitch to. We're going to use this hole here, this hole here, and this larger hole on our bumper. We're going to fish our hardware through the end of the frame rail here and through the end of the bumper on this side. And it'll be the same on both sides. Now we're going to use a fish wire to supply with our kit. We're going to have two different style blocks. The two that are going to go inside the frame rail are going to be these smaller blocks with a carriage bolt. And the one that's going to go on the end of the bumper is going to be this larger block with the same size half inch carriage bolt. So we'll start by putting our fish wire up inside. Then we're going to slide on our smaller block and our half inch carriage bolt. And we're going to slip it up inside the frame rail here. Okay. Now you can help work the block around a little bit by putting your finger up inside this access part right here. Now we want to make sure we have the block oriented where it's going forward to back because if it's going this way it's not going to drop down and let our bolt come out of the bottom far enough. Now we can go ahead and take off our fish wire and we'll install our next bolt. Our last one's going to go through this hole here and come out the end of our bumper. We'll slide the larger block on. And we'll repeat this same process for the other side. They're going to be identical from side to side. Now we're going to have some wedge shapes that are going to go on the very out, the rearmost part of the bumper. So we're just going to go ahead and tape them in place to hold them there while we slip the hitch up into position. 
I'm going to take a little knife and cut out the center so we can slide the bolt through there easily without any thing getting in the way. Now we'll take our hitch and we're going to put it up into position. We'll start by just sliding all our bolts through the holes. And we can go ahead and start our flange nut. And we'll go ahead and put all of our nuts on. And we'll repeat this process for the other side. Then we're going to go ahead and run up our bolts, our nuts. Make sure we have everything centered up. Now we're going to go ahead and torque them down to the specifications listed in our instructions. And we'll repeat this on the other side. Now that we have it all torqued down, we're going to take it and slide our exhaust back up, tightening up our safety strap. Then we can re-secure it with our grommets. Once we get all the ones on the front, we can take our safety strap back down. And that'll complete our install. And that's going to do it for a look at and install of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 2, part number C12134 on our 2014 Dodge Journey. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.